I wanted a pram. But it had to be special. It had to be very special indeed. It's long been a trusted fount of new baby knowledge for parents and grandparents the country over. But now, mother care is set to disappear from our high streets, confirming its UK business is on the verge of collapse, placing 2,500 jobs at risk. At this toddler class in York, while most were sorry to hear of mother care's demise, the lure of online shopping proves too strong. Often we do buy things online, but once we've seen things... <laughs> So, it, it, because it's cheaper online? Um, yeah, and just convenience, if you've got the little one with you, it's quite hard to kind of carry stuff around. I mean, it's a bit of an institution as well. I mean, mother care's been there for so many years and it's a pity that it's a threat of leaving, of, of, of uh, closing. It's a real shame. Now, most stuff you can get online, probably a bit cheaper, and a lot of supermarket brands um, are just as good quality for a lot better price. So, so you don't really shop at mother care? No, not anymore. Mother care is symptomatic of the current climate that we're experiencing at the moment. One insolvency expert told me he agrees the business has spent too much in store and not enough online. I think like a lot of businesses, mother care has struggled with its online competitors. I think the amount of cash that they are spending at the moment in order to compete at that level is astronomical. Um, and I think mother care has spent a little bit too much time on their stores. Getting the, getting the product in there, which is okay to a certain extent, but when you've got a family that doesn't really have a huge amount of disposable income, from their perspective, they want the expertise, but again, they want the price. Mother Care is not the only big name store to fall prey to the recent wider high street crisis with boarded up shops like these in York, becoming an all too familiar sight. In its statement, it said that its 79 UK stores were not capable of returning to a level of structural profitability. And it added that plans are well advanced and being finalized for execution imminently. And just the right price. In total, Mother Care lost £36.3 million last year. So while it may have been caring for new parents and babies for decades, in the end it couldn't look after its own finances. The shops will stay open until administrators have been appointed. Catherine Jacob, 5 News, York.